Hello everybody, my name is Patrick, I work with and promote geopolymers and today I want to go through the basic process of making some geopolymer activation or hardener solution made from waste. Basically in this video we solve leftover silica gel like this in a mixture of water and sodium hydroxide, so in lay. Uh, and what comes out is an hardener solution or activation solution for a basic geopolymer metacaline based uh, cement aka geopolymer binder. Actually, this is a very simple process. It is hardly more than making lye solution adding SiO2, mixing properly and eventually boiling or apply heat until everything is solved. Okay, at first we make the lye solution, the sodium hydroxide solution, because it needs some time to rest. We add the 10 milliliters of water And then we add um, 2 grams of sodium hydroxide, which as you see is not much. Fantastic. Now I close the lid because I don't want to get in contact too much with CO2. And um, yeah, normally you really need to give it some time to get solved but um, yeah this is a very small amount and yeah that makes less problems yeah let's prepare our silica i al already started to open the bag <laughs> as you see they already jumped around is um, the four grams of um, sio2 you see our sodium hydroxide lye solution already became clear yeah, if you use bigger amount, um, then this is more difficult. Now, you just open the container and fill in our silica gel bed, or sometimes called beds or balls. Now we close. Not completely tight or in this um, example it won't matter too much if you do it completely tight yeah because they cannot build so much pressure up but um, if you you know like want to make bigger amount it is very important that you do it like this not very um, tightly closed so now we need to mix As you see, it started to bake together. Make a little harder. That's why now I close it better. By now, I can predict that we need some heat. And now we added some water. It is relatively hot. I open the container a little bit so pressure can go out and put it in. Yes, nice. Now let's see how long it takes. So now it took us about uh, five to seven minutes to solve the, um, the, the silica bed in the sodium hydroxide solution. Um, this is the, I use tap water and 
yeah, <clears throat> that worked out quite good. Um, everything worked like I wanted it. Or I can see there's a little bit, a tiny bit um, silica bed left over. That means we put it in there for another couple of minutes. So, after our second boil, I can't see any silica bed remaining. It worked out quite good. So, this is our end product, the geopolymer activation solution, sometimes rather called hardener solution. And I guess chemistry is a experimental field of research, so stuff can um, make problems. And um, what happened here is that after like half an hour, some solids formed inside our solution. And uh, nevertheless, um, this, what I showed to you, is a basic way, the basic process of um, making such solution. Um, what you see in here is the matter with recycling stuff. You never know what's exactly in the um, in the silica bed you use. Um, is it maybe if there are some calcium compounds present, stuff like that can happen and you never know. Uh, yeah, nevertheless, this is how it works to make it even clearer, so to speak. Um, one could use instead of uh, boiling it uh, like we did it uh, openly on a stove in a special pressure cooker for the laboratory and without um, being in contact with CO2, yeah, which would be very important. Um, but as I said, nevertheless, this was the basic process. If you like the video, um, please consider to subscribe. The best way to support would be to watch another video, which left me to say thank you, bye bye and have a nice day. And how we make a geopolymer from our solution will be covered in a future video. The books about geopolymer technology are available on Amazon. See links below. Thank you.